You want benchmarks? I got benchmarks. Let's do this. What is going on? Diamond Rice here coming at you with another video. Today we're going to be doing something different. Today we're going to be showing a follow-up video to a comment that is on my previous video on how to use a second GPU as a dedicated encoder in OBS. Now Digital Signal is asking what are the actual performance gains on the primary GPU and he would like to show and know some FPS benchmarks from with using NVNC both on their primary versus the secondary etc etc and today this this is the follow-up for this particular video this is going to be some benchmarks that you want to show now my systems are different than when I did this previous video so I do run a Ryzen 5 1600 that is overclocked at 3.9 gigahertz I do have 8 gigs of DDR4 RAM which is clocked at 2400 megahertz and I also still have the GTX Titan the one that you see from the previous video, but the secondary card is now a 750 Ti. Now the 950 I still have, but it is in another rig that is currently unreachable at the moment. So I'm gonna leave that for a thing. I'll leave that for another day if I decide to do another follow up on that. But these two cards are from the same families of of series of cards. So this GTX 750 Ti and Titan are actually from the same series of cards. So the 700, the GTX 700 series. So this will be more of an actual actual benefit to actually show how the encoder is pretty much the same on both cards so we should be able to see some good performance differences between the between the actual two using a dedicated one or or non-dedicated one now i do have some games and i do have one synthetic benchmark i am running uh the unigen heaven benchmark and as well as rise of the tomb raider I have a Ghost Recon Wildlands from the Tom Clancy series, and as well as Devil May Cry 4. So I did decide to use a lot of the CAN benchmarks in this to make it easier to actually run these games. And as well as for my sake, that I can actually start running these benchmarks so I can do them more, t let's say more than once, more than two times, three times, however many times, and probably take the average of it. And... I only showed one of these. I only showed one of these particular ones to sh to make sure that you show that the performance differences are what it is. So, hope you guys will enjoy.
And there you have it. That is some of the benchmarks that you'd seen. Uh, it is actually really interesting. Some of the games actually don't like having two GPUs, even if they're no, they're not technically running an SLI. They're just running two different GPUs on, let's say, two different monitors, for example, or just having no inputs or outputs coming out of the secondary GPU. And it seems as though the Unigen Heaven, for one thing, I wouldn't say it's pretty much a human error, but it's more like it's just the game itself, actually, or not the game, the uh, the benchmark itself shows that you could have a difference between the two, and, you know, it's kind of very small, minuscule thing, but as you saw in the other games, though, you actually do see that some of them actually do very well with having two GPUs. As you notice in some of the single GPUs, especially the the Ghost Recon Wildlands and, and Rise of the Tomb Raider, you can see a lot of stuttering, and you can see that it's not very smooth. That is because the OBS, uh, when I was recording actually with a single GPU, showed that the encoder was being overloaded really, really hardly on some of these newer titles. And and it shows, uh, it actually did show up as well as a little bit in the Devil May Cry 4 benchmark as well, but not as much as you saw in the Wildlands and as well as in Rise of the Tomb Raider. So it does make a diff it actually does make a difference to have this secondary GPU, would you? Because as you saw in the secondary GPU ones, you saw that the stuttering, uh, it could possibly still be there, but you showed that the, over like the overall performance of the actual recording is very smooth. Like it actually, you actually see itself that. In OBS, you won't be able to see this particular uh, encoder has been overloaded. You won't see that message in OBS. I saw that only uh, like very frequently in the single GPU. In the second, in the the two GPU setups I pretty much had, it never, it barely showed up. Maybe once or twice during the times I was doing these benchmarks. And I did these benchmarks uh, multiple times just to make sure that you know I'm I'm getting these particular numbers correctly. Like there's no actual human variables, errors, those kinds of things. So. It is very interesting. Uh, Performance-wise, I do think if you do have a secondary GPU that, let's say, you're not using for any apparent reason and you have a spare PCI Express slot, go ahead and try this out. This is very, very interesting and how it does it inside of OBS Studio and how you pretty much can use a dedicated GPU as, like I said before, as, a de as an encoder just for NVNC uh, for NVIDIA or device, whatever you're using uh, as from the AMD side, those kinds of things. So, hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any more issues or any more questions, make sure you leave a comment down below or hit me up at Twitter at Diamond Rice. So, I will see you soon. Later.